Hello, good day everyone. I am Mr. Harun Abdul, here to share with you my post time entitled Elderly Human Activity Recognition, Time and Frequency Domain Feature Analysis. The increase in the availability of wearable devices such as smartphones, smartwatches, offer a prospective solutions to the increasing demand for elderly human activity monitoring in the essence of improving the independent living standard of the growing population of the elderly humans. Such mobile devices are embedded with a lot of sensors such as accelerometer and gyroscope that are being used for the purpose of human activity monitoring. But due to the inability of elderly peoples in performing some physical activities such as jogging, running, walking, etc., it makes the sensor generate a noisy data that most of times the noise frequency is higher than that of the intended fuel signals. And statistical features which are commonly being used to extract the relevant features and recognize what activity an individual is engaged. That statistical features only cannot be able to represent the subject posture correctly and sometimes may lead to the activity recognition model unable to generalize. The aim of this research is to analyze the time and frequency domain feature relevance in recognizing elderly human activities including their transitions. We deemed it important to introduce the subject by clearly explaining what human activity recognition is all about. Human activity recognition is not like consider let's consider physical activity. If you are not walking, you must be running. If you are not running, you must be sleeping. If you are not sleeping, you must be lying down or sitting down. If you are not doing one activity, you are doing other. Those activities you are performing is what we are focusing on the physical human activity recognition. And human activity recognition is being classified into two. We have sensor base and we have vision base. Sensor base is what our research focuses on, that we make use of the smartphones, smartwatches, or smart glasses with sensor embedded inside it for like accelerometer or gyroscope to page the data in a tree exile form. Okay? But a vision base, we make use of a camera and it has a lot of problems such as obtrusiveness and so especially for elderly people that cannot be able to take care of themselves in the shortest possible time then they can be explored. It has a lot of applications such as pole detection which is the most common accident that used to happen among elderly individuals and healthcare industry recognize what exactly happens. In the methodology, the human activity recognition has been, class, has been segmented into pieces from data collection, then raw data pre-processing, segment the data into windows, then perform the feature, relevant feature extraction, deploy, uh, just deploy your model, and recognize what particular activity happens. We also, since, since we deemed it important to also do some kind of signal characterization, Looking at this figure, you can see that stand to sit is just like some, a person is standing and sitting in between. When you're standing, you can see the acceleration is going towards gravity. And this is one among the problems that most of the researchers do not consider due to its shorter duration in between. And if you are sitting, you decide to stand in the next figure B, that you can see that the acceleration is going are negative to the gravity. So these are the key things that this duration may be a very serious challenge or a noise to the classifier that cannot be recognized. In our workflow, first of all, after we receive the data, we trim the data to remove the time taken to start the sensor and the time taken after we end the sensors to, to collect the data. And we do some kind of neural new, uh, noise removal and then followed by checking the data if there is any null ballot removed. Then we clean the data and finally we perform some kind of windowing. We make use of a fixed slide window to segment the data. And then we did some relevant feature extraction. Then finally make the, the, the scaling to be between 0 and 1 so to improve the classification accuracy. Then we segment the data into training and testing models and then deploy our models and finally perform the classification based on the models we deployed. The sensors used for the purpose of this research is accelerometer and gyroscope. 
and then the sensor position attached to the waist position after performing some experimentation we find that is the best a number of subject we got 15 individuals who have volunteered to perform these activities with the age, re age range of 64.8 and standard deviation of 8.79 the sampling frequency we make is of 50, 50 half and then the subject was not restricted in performing any physical activity S activities involves uh, just static dynamic and transitions the static activity is just like standing sitting or lying down while dynamic activity include running walking and some uh, things like that the transition is activity in between either of those and then the segmentation with we make use of sliding window with 50 percent overlap that segments the data with a, with a fixed size of two seconds. We make use of for statistical feature like average, standard deviation, values, etc. While in frequency domain features, we make use of past barrier transform. We got a result by testing, we got three different kind of results by testing time domain only and uh, frequency domain only. Then we match the two and find out that is the best result. If you look at it, with, when we tested with the time domain features only, we got 83%, while with the frequency domain features only, we got 88% accuracy. While when we tested with combination two, we got 95% accuracy. And the law is the computation matrix that show the result of 10. And uh, the next one also we plots a graph of precision recall and F1 score. Thank you all.